Hey everyone, welcome to Pothology and welcome to Tuesday Tea Talks. We got our tea, we're drinking throat coat. The original. The original. I think maybe a couple episodes ago we had the lemon version, which I don't mind. You know, it's whatever. It tastes good to me. So, but today uh, we're going to talk about many things. One being uh, I got into my program. I was going, I applied for. So I'm very excited. Um, It's a program at Kelly School of Business at IU. So I'm very happy about that. I was thinking I might not get in, but I did, so that's awesome, and I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a lot of work, but I'm 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 ready to do it. I'm excited for it. So yay! Yeah, I'm I'm happy. We're very we're all very proud of you, Michael. Thank you, thank you. So <laughs> so that happened today, and um, last week we mentioned we were going to talk about. Some of the some of the things that we got for Christmas, and we're just going to show you really fast. So, do you want to start? Sure. Well, I'll start with what my parents got me. I asked for a watch, a two tone watch that I could wear it with silver and gold. I really like it. We I had to get some links taken out. And I'm really not sure where the best place to do that is. Some people are like, you can get it done at Walmart. But I don't know if I want to take this, you know, nice new watch to Walmart for somebody who isn't trained in jewelry care. I mean, you could just, you could go to a jewelry shop, like Zales or something. Yeah. Like something in the mall. Maybe not someone at Walmart. Yeah. But maybe, I don't know. I'm very excited to wear it, but I can't wear it yet because it's too big. So we'll have to find a place to take it maybe this weekend or something. It might just be worth it for me to buy a kit to do it. I think I did buy a kit one time because this is like the third watch we've had to do this at. And even though it only costs $10, it's still like, it's just something I wish I just could do. Because the last time we went, a a 20-year-old kid did it. I'm just like... That actually is. I can true. just I could do this, you know. It's just it's just a metal pen and you just you know. And I'm pretty sure that my link fell out after I went there and I had to take it back again. Yeah. Because you didn't get the pen all the way back in after maybe you know, that's taking what it happened. out. Did I put it back in? I don't know. It's been a, several years. Yeah. But um I also got this really cool mug. It's like a travel to go mug, but it has a handle on it. It is the Swig brand. So I know that's kind of popular. It's insulated and it has the rubbery bottom so that it doesn't slip off of, you know, the table or your desk or my sister-in-law said that she put it on top of her car. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah. Like if you're putting... You know, stuff oh, in the car, your yeah. kids in the car, and you also have your coffee. So I was actually thinking about getting a new work coffee mug because I take coffee to work every single day. I used to make coffee at work mostly, but we don't make coffee at work right now because they don't want like all the interaction and germs and stuff for COVID. So No, that makes sense. That's beside the point. I'm very excited about this mug. It's a swig. Did you already say it? Yeah. Swig coffee mug. Swig. It's kind of like a upgraded Yeti. Or it's just a Yeti with a silicone bottom on on it. Yeah, and a pretty design. Yeah. So but (laughs) I feel like the Yetis are a lot heavier. Yeah. I'm sure I guess I could always compare and see which one keeps it hotter longer. But I drink my coffee. Yeah. I've never been I don't in a want situation. To sit there for hours. Yeah. I've never really been in a situation where I need my drink to stay cold for 12 hours. Yeah. It's more of just, or however long Yetis stay cold. I mean, we have three or four Yetis, and I'm happy it does it, but I'm not like, I need that. Right. I also really like Tervis. I really like Tervis. Tervis definitely does not keep stuff hot and cold as long, but. Yeah. They're still better than like a regular cup. No, they are. I like them. I mean, they don't sweat and I yeah. mean, 
they keep stuff they keep stuff cold long enough, you know, three or four hours, if not longer. I don't really know. I mean, there was I used one this morning and there was ice in it at lunch. So but maybe that's normal. That's probably normal. Um, this is kind of funny, but I don't like taking my Tervis with coffee in it to work because it's clear see-through and I don't want everyone to know how much coffee creamer I That's use. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> not that it's a big deal. I'm not like parading around in front of everyone with my cup, but yeah. also I just don't think it works as well. But we have several of them. Yeah. Okay, so this is funny gift that my mom got all three of us girls like me and then my two sister-in-laws a selfie light for our phone that's cool and yeah it is it says say cheese on it that's funny yeah i think that's hilarious i really don't know if i will ever use this i feel like i would have used it more um in high school <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if we're recording a vlog and we need light. That is and so I only true. Have my phone, I, I did think about your vlogging. Yeah. I mean, you know, these lights, if you bought a real selfie light, I feel like a production one, it would cost a lot of money, maybe like 50 to to $100 for one for your cell phone. Yeah. This is not. It's like a $5 one. And I'm it probably sure does. it's like $5. Batteries yeah. not included. Oh my goodness. Trip away. You, you have some. I saw them. Really? I think. I got or I know double A maybe. I got double A. Yeah, Costco had a batteries on sale and I was like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them now. So actually when I cleaned out our big tote mm -hmm. that we use to take the gifts in, I found a pack of triple A batteries. Oh wow. Oh that's good. Yeah. That's good. I I need triple A batteries. So Yes. But yeah, um Anyway, let me finish up my my list. I know you're excited to share your I gifts. only have two things. <laughs> I have two no, I have three things. Um, my mom and dad got me like a couple of tops, which was nice. And, um, like some skincare stuff, Tula, which actually Michael's parents got me that too. Cause I really wanted it. I got this eyelash, what do you call it? Lash booster. We'll see how that goes. I've never used something like that before, but I was influenced on the gram to get it. So we'll see. And I was supposed to get some, this is funny, black jeans from Abercrombie, which if you've been here for a while, you know my saga. But my mom ordered them like the day after Thanksgiving and they never arrived. Mm. So she just gave me a gift card instead. So that, that's fine. She got me. her money back though. Yes. So that's yeah, nice. Yeah, she got her money back. Because they got lost Weird. in shipping. Yeah. Um, Michael's mom and dad got me some leggings. I've been needing new black leggings. They're so comfy. And Continue. I'm gonna I'll be right back. This bracelet. Well, it's actually two different bracelets. This like cuff. Sorry, it's stuck. This cuff. That's silver and gold. And then these little guys my mom got as stocking stuffers for us and the – for me and the other two sister-in-laws, which I love little things like that. I think it's fun. Okay. That is the gist of what I got. Oh, and I got these – I guess I could have shown them, but I'll just tell you. These two glass kind of canisters, they're not super big, but – they have wooden tops on them, so I can put them on the bathroom, like sink vanity, to put Q-tips in. And then, and the other one, I'm gonna put the little plastic flossers, because those always end up scattered everywhere, and so do our Q-tips. And we don't have a lot of counter space, or just storage space in general in the bathroom. So, if you haven't seen our bathroom. Maybe Michael will link our home, our, our apartment tour for you. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Anyway, just little things like that make me happy. <laughs> so that's that's that. You want to share yes. know, some things that you got? Yes. I'm so... Okay. I got from Emily's parents, I got Apple. I got AirPods. 
So the, these are very nice. Uh, I So they're not necessarily the best headphones, but they're the, in my opinion, they're probably the best for an iPhone. They connect really fast and I can talk on talk to people fairly easily. It connects really fast. So, okay. Anyways, they're great headphones uh, and I really like them. Are they so, comfy in your ears? Yeah, they're very comfy. Uh, they're superior. So they're superior headphones, I would say. So I like them. So I got that. And my parents also got me, let's see, where do I even begin? So I like cooking and I have a few knives that require sharpening frequently. Like they're, one of them is a carbon knife and those dull really fast. So my mom got me this 5,000 grit uh, stone. So cool. I know, right? So, and I already, <laughs> I don't remember what grit this is, but I sharpen it on this one first. I think this is a, so if you don't know what this is, it's a Japanese knife sharpening stone. So you see, can you see that? Oh, I'm showing it the wrong way. And it's this, it's a stone that this gets most of the, like you start with this stone and then you go to your 5,000 grit stone or something like that. So I, I forget which one I do, but I think I start with my orange one, then I go to my pink one and that sharpens my knife. So I got that. And one last thing. Well, Emily's mom always gets us O'Keefe's hand lotion. It's amazing, especially if you live in the Midwest or anywhere that's super cold and dry. dry. Yeah, it's it's a it's it works magic. And I also like their chapstick. My other thing, oh wow, my also possibly my I think it's my last thing. Okay, I'm gonna show this to you and then explain it. So here is my super peel. Can you even see this? <laughs> okay. So it is a uh, bakery peel. Kind of it's it's a pizza peel kind of, but I don't know if I would use it for pizza, even though they have a picture of pizza on here. So basically, it's a conveyor belt pizza paddle or conveyor belt peel. And you would put dough on it. So here's a picture. So you put whatever product you're using, and then it has this plastic piece that it conveys onto your stone. So if you're making sourdough bread or whatever you're making pizza, you uh, put it on your peel and then it conveyors onto whatever your, your stone. So you don't have to slide and use cornmeal and a bunch of other stuff. So that's what it does. It's, it's very nice. It's, it's going to be awesome. I make a lot of homemade pizzas, or I used to. I haven't so much here because I just haven't. They don't have the dough you like no, that they you used to use. No, they don't have the dough I like, and we've been using King Dough. And also, I've been scared to uh, use my steel pizza stone, which is awesome. It's made by Pizza Nerd, and you can get it on Amazon. It weighs like 50 pounds, and you put it in your oven, and it's steel. It doesn't break like like a clay one does but it can sometimes smoke and I just mm. didn't want to do it. But it doesn't always. Like I, if I clean it well and if it's seasoned right, it doesn't smoke. So, I just haven't just haven't made pizza. So, but that's what I got and I'm I'm really excited for this. This is super cool. Something I can keep for a long time. I'm excited for you to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to use it for sourdough. I want to use it for a few other things, different breads. That sounds amazing. Yeah. So, I uh yeah, I used to make sourdough, and one time I made, uh, I left my sour mixture out too long. Sour mixture, mixture. Yeah, your starter. Maybe? Yeah, my starter. So it was gross. We're talking like six months too long. So okay, moving on from that. Um, <clears throat> what else? Well, today, let me put this away. <clears throat> today at work. We had this thing where you meet other teams and you have to, uh, like there was a PowerPoint of my team that I'm on and you send in pictures and you tell them about yourself and stuff. And I think I had three slides, but. How'd it go? It went, yeah, it didn't go well. I mean, it was fine. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because um, it got stuck on me for three minutes. Oh, that's and so hilarious. I know. So it's like the first minute, there's a lot of, there's a lot of words beside my picture. 
And then, and there's like 50 people in this Zoom. So we're like, okay. And they're like, hey, uh, can you change the slot? It's like one minute, it's whatever. A minute and 30 seconds, it's getting a little awkward. Two minutes, they're like, hey, can you change the slide? And it's like ended up being three to five minutes of me. Everyone just staring at my picture. Oh, my word. And That's your like, worst nightmare. I know. I'm, a, I'm pretty <laughs> introverted. And I'm just like, this is literally. Which picture please. was it on? Just It's the one of me and you in front of one of the restaurants. Oh, it's so funny. Well, they really know what we look like now. I know. All the whole like, please, team. Please move on. And then it got it was so dramatic. <laughs> then it was like they shut down the PowerPoint and then and the manager or like the top person, one of the VPs was like, please, please go back to Michael's slide. And I'm like, no, no. Like, please <laughs> fix it. Please, we gotta look back at them. And then it looked at my slide, my two slides, literally for one second because the PowerPoint just kept skipping. I was just like, oh, drama. Wow. Somebody really kind of figure out PowerPoint. I know. I know. That's so a bummer. That happened today. Very meh. I didn't. Yeah. So that was awkward. But besides that, I had a pretty good day. That's good. Mm -hmm. I had a good day too. It, I was so happy to see the sun. Mm -hmm. That really makes my day yeah, better. I did notice that. It was pretty sunny today. There's a lot of windows in my office. And so if it's cloudy and I'm up on a high floor of my building, you just feel like you're surrounded by clouds and it's gray and it's dark inside. Oh, sorry. Um, but if it's sunny, it's extremely bright. So that boosts my mood for sure. Was it sunny where you all are today? What was the weather like today? Let us know down below. And if you're still watching, comment down below, sunshine. Is that <laughs> or sunshine? a sun emoji. Yeah, or a sun emoji. It was definitely very cold, but mm. sun always helps. And I didn't have to go outside until I left. Um, once again, I had a really hard time sleeping last night. It seemed, yeah. Did you have a hard time sleeping last Monday? Um, I think I just told them about it at one it's point. Tuesday. I don't know if it was on a Tuesday tea talk or not. Oh. But yeah, hopefully I sleep better tonight. I think I just get anxiety. That's part of it at least. I don't think that's the whole thing. I know that people who frequently or every so often have trouble falling asleep you understand the feeling of it. So, yeah, I'm right there with you. But that doesn't always happen, just every once in a while. So I'm excited to sleep tonight. I'm excited to, I did not watch The Bachelor last night. So, and conveniently, I've been off of social media today. So I don't know what happened. Um, so I'll get to watch it without commercials tonight. Because so yeah. I wanted... Honestly, the reason I did that mostly was because on Tuesdays, we do Tuesday Tea Talks, and then on Mondays, I was watching The Bachelor, so it's like two nights. I have something to do, and it kind of takes up time when I need to be focusing on school, so if I can just combine the both things that I need to do into one night. Then you can just focus on school on one night? Yes, and then all the other nights. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like four days, four nights out of the week. And then, of course, on the weekends, I can focus on school. And then on Tuesdays, I can do this in The Bachelor. And then if I have any extra time, I can do a little bit of school. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, um, well, today was good at work, but I learned a lot on my lunch break. I didn't vlog today. So I learned, I watched a bunch of videos about bull riding I really want to go to a PBR, professional bull riding competition. Rodeo. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's that. I want to go there. I want to see, I want to see JB Mooney before he retires, which I don't think is retiring anytime soon because he hates when we talk about that. But I want to go, I want to go to Oklahoma City and go to a bull riding show there. So sounds fun. Yeah. Kind of. No, you, and you'll go too. Oh, okay. It'll be fun. You're not going to leave me at home. No. That'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> they don't have them in Indy. They they do have bull, right? They do have a rodeo somewhere around here. 
Really? Yeah. They don't, I don't My think, friends used to go who like oh, it's probably, their grandparents owned a farm and I never went. Uh, well, I know the PBR is not around here. And JB oh, okay. and some of the world riding champions don't. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. So, yeah. So I want to go there. I've, you know, that's just such a fascinating world that I do not know much about. It, they're probably not the greatest. If you think about it, they probably do some bad stuff to the bulls to make them crazy. But still very interesting. Yeah. Ethically, it's probably bad. But I'm not going to think about that at the moment. So <laughs> anyways, I want to go to bull riding at some point. And um, that's about all. I've really just become, I've just been watching that. Oh, then I started watching something about boot camp. Very interesting. What kind of boot camp? Uh it was a business insider. It was a long YouTube video and it was all the different boot camps and even uh, Canadian boot camps for the Mounties. So even though those are mm-hmm. technically just police officers, but it's still a specialized version of a police officer and they do boot camp. I learned which, okay, I don't have any opinion on the military or even know much about like military stuff, but I do find it interesting that the army has this thing called shark circling. I think that's what it's called. I might be wrong on this, but within the first couple days that you get to boot camp, the drill sergeants will be in your face and scream at you. And then you, it's just basically to tear you down. So you put the bag over your head and they tell you to put it down and just keep doing it over and over. And then they circle you and like three or four drill sergeants will scream in your face. Mm -hmm. But apparently this year they're getting rid of that in the army. I don't, I doubt they're getting rid of that in the Marines, but that's interesting. Yeah. They're doing, um, they're doing, what's it called? Oh, they're doing more like team building exercises at the beginning that are, they're still going to, you know, scream at them, but it's going to be more like team building efforts at the beginning where they have to go to a certain place or, like build this in the first day. Maybe they found through like actual scientific research that that will create a better soldier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, specifically in the, the army, the military, I, okay. The military people, whoever they talked about how they need their soldiers to trust them. And it wasn't working out when in the first couple of days when they would scream at them and then, try to build that trust back up. It just, I guess yeah. it took a lot longer. It doesn't make sense, actually. Yeah, and so that's what that's what the guy said. So not that I really know much about that, but that's what he said. And so they're, they're instead of tearing them down completely, they're going more towards, they're going to break you still, but it's going to be more of a, I guess, not as intense and more of a leadership building process, which I think is Very great. Very interesting. Yeah, I think it's cool. I, I think it's cool that they're changing that they're willing to do something new. So, but apparently uh, that whole sh- uh, shark situation occurred in the 50s through the 70s. Because, should I talk about this? What? Okay, I'm just going to finish it. <laughs> I don't 50s know. through the 70s because they were uh, drafted. So it was a, these people, we were being drafted. The military was drafting people. And a lot of people came into the army not wanting to be there. So they had, I guess that's how they developed that hmm. like style of boot camp. So they're changing it. So that's that's one thing I learned today. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. You love learning. I do. And I was thinking about just, okay, I won't move. I'll, anyways, moving on from that. <laughs> Never mind. So, Well, this Saturday... I have my MBA orientation, which was supposed to be in person at Butler on the campus. Um, And we were all going to have to get COVID tested on campus this week prior, but they decided to change it to Zoom. So, okay. Eight to one on Saturday. Woohoo! Can't wait. To be up and at them, looking my best, ready to go on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Nice. Kind of thinking about going to my office to do it because oh. they said, be prepared to have your camera on, which mm. I have a lot of meetings where I have to have camera on just so clients can see that you're there and present and paying attention. Um, 
but that's a long time, eight to one. And I had to be it prepared is. to like give a spiel, introduce myself. So it's always kind of, I don't know, kind of scary when you've never met these people before. You don't know what their background is. It's all new to everybody, but it'll be great. I'm excited to find out who all is in this program with me. And eventually that I'll get to be in class with in person. Yeah. That'll be so, cool. and of course it'll help me understand the program better, what I need to do, how I'm going to get all this done and over with and graduate. So I'm excited. Yeah, that would be good. One step closer. Yeah. I was just thinking how you don't have to have camera on, do you, at work? Um, Or do you? No, you don't. But no, it depends what meeting you're in. Yeah. Like, it just depends. So, yeah. Do you guys have to do camera on with Zoom or Teams or whatever it is that you use? Sometimes it's fine. Other times you're like, oh, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> um, I just want to say this. I uh, this might be okay. I what? I I like our military, and I, I would literally not survive boot camp. That's all. I would die. Literally, you know. I would. I would never want to do that. So, yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, it is. So. Um, what else? Do you know what you're making for dinner tonight? No, I haven't figured it out. I was going to make fajitas, mm. but, uh, we don't have any tortillas. Okay. So. Bummer. Yeah. But I didn't really plan. I mean, I, I, yeah, I got, I got stuff I could make, but I was, I was thinking about making something different. And we still have this every plate thing, but. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to. F- yeah, I don't know if I want the gnocchi. So, yeah. But I, I do like gnocchi soup. I could always make that. Mm, I love gnocchi soup as well. Yeah. So, um. well, I I think that's, that's everything. I finished the Tiger documentary, Tiger Woods documentary, and that was really good. Nice. Well, part one of it. So I'm excited for part two. Be very interesting to see what happens in part two. It's very... Yeah, it's very dramatic. I feel like Tiger <laughs> probably hates it. So it's possible. Yeah, it's not good for his image at all. Who created the documentary? Do you know? No. I, you know, one thing is talking about the military as well. Tiger's dad, it's it's made by HBO. Okay. And they touch on a lot about how Tiger's dad was in the Green Beret. Maybe that's why I was looking up military stuff. Yeah. Maybe that's Light the bulb. connection. Yeah, everything's kind of connected as they say in <laughs> Dirk Gently's whatever that uh, that TV show Dirk Gently. Okay. Um they were talking about how Tiger's dad was in the Green Beret and how he trained Tiger to kind of go in the zone. Okay, it's, from my understanding what the HBO series is telling me or trying to say Tiger Woods was uh sight like hypnotized into being really good at golf and he was able to be hypnotized or zoned in when he's playing a championship or any game and his dad taught him to do that because it was i don't know like his dad did a lot of weird mind games that made him perfect and amazing and he was able to zone everything out you can definitely tell that when he's playing golf if you have if you've ever watched him on tv or or live just ever watched him play Mm -hmm. he has an ability to just just be the best Mm -hmm. it's crazy so, but his dad also did a lot of other stuff that's not that great. And well, but he made the best, he helped create one of the best golfers. But also, Tiger had a really hard, which I didn't really understand everything that happened, but yeah, that sucks. He had a really bad scandal. So, yeah. Anyways, that's, that's interesting. But just like how his dad used his Green Beret training to train Tiger in golf. And he was super extreme. Super extreme, like living That's in the rough. RV. Uh, he, his dad would like live in the RV on the golf course and they would just be at the golf course all day when they would travel. So they would travel, stop at a golf course and just be there for a week or so and then continue on. So well, crazy. 
ultimately, that's what made him the greatest golfer of all time, arguably. Yeah, it is. And I think overall, he enjoys golf. Yeah. So I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just saying like. Yeah, it's it's crazy. His dad was his best friend. He had, Tiger had no friends except his dad. Oh. Because his dad was super protective of him. Well, when he was younger. Until he, he Tiger had almost no friends until he was 25 or 26. Wow. Yeah. Because his dad was super. Speaking crazy. of being 25, I think I remember a story of like Tiger Woods like wanting to rent a car and it popped up in the news like back when he was 25, but he wasn't old enough or maybe 24. So he just bought a car. Drama. Because he's so obviously so rich. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Yeah. I've, yeah. <laughs> There you go. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I think that's everything I have. That's that's yeah. our Tuesday tea talk. Hey, or you have anything else? Any other thoughts? Um, I don't think that I do. Okay. Well, we're gonna make some dinner. I don't know what we're gonna make, but we'll figure it out. So, uh, just want to say thank you so much for uh, watching. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for being so nice to us. Uh, we really do appreciate it. So thank you. And if no one's told you this today, you are loved. And this world is a better place because you are here. We'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. You might see Emily tomorrow. I don't know. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.